How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Rouse back with another video. We are working on rounding out our Justice League. So today we got a two pack only because it has Hal Jordan in it. Don't really care about this Bruce Wayne. Well, this is Hal Jordan. But yeah, more DC McFarlane multiverse. Obviously, we have the Green Lantern two pack from Dark Knight's Metal. Uh, this is Bruce Wayne Corrupted. This is Hal Jordan, classic Green Lantern that we need for Justice League in a two pack. But yeah, it is what it is. I have it now. So with all that being said, we'll take a closer look at the box and we'll get this bad boy open. Here is our big chonky box. You can see the card on the back. Uh, Batman, Earth, negative 32 and Green Lantern. Of course, Hal Jordan, Batman in there. DC Multiverse at the bottom. Uh, not much to these boxes as always. So with all of that being said, let's get these bad boys open. Oh yeah, Dark Knight's Metal at the top as well. As you can see, we have our two Green Lanterns out of the box. We have Hal Jordan and Bruce Wayne, whose will is so strong he overpowered the directive of the ring and made it bend to his will instead of just will in general so he can make it do whatever he wanted because batman is resourceful and in the end it is batman bruce wayne have um holding a green lantern power ring so yeah it's pretty lethal combination and of course how jordan is just how jordan we all know and love him he's uh, the not og um green lantern that's carter scott or something i, I don't remember his name but um, some people know Jon Stewart. My first one was always Hal Jordan, and then Jon Stewart came in Justice League Unlimited. I was like, oh, cool, more Green Lanterns. But yeah, good to finally have Hal for my Justice League. Checking out the height of our two-pack, Hal Jordan stands at about seven inches, and uh, Batman stands at about seven and a quarter, a little bit over seven and a quarter, um, with the cow, so, you know, he's a little bit taller, but it's artificial, so about seven inches for both of them at the top of their head, so right in scale with McFarlane's uh, sense of one-tenth. For accessories, we get this cool base down there. Sorry for bumping the camera. It is in green, but there's a little bit of a wash on the other end to signify how um, corrupted uh, Batman's well ring is, and then, of course, we've got this effect for Batman Green Lantern, which is some bats, which is quite fitting for him. For Hal, we get a rocket pack for him to fly and a big old boxing glove with the lantern on the top of it. So some cool effects for them. I do have some other Green Lantern stuff that might fit on Hal, but I don't know. And then of course they get that standard DC stand, but we also get a card for each as is per use for McFarlane Multiverse DC. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan's life was changed twice by crashing aircraft. The first time was when he witnessed the death of his father, pilot Martin Jordan. The second was when, as an adult and trained pilot himself, he was summoned to the crashed wreckage of a spaceship belonging to Abin Sur. Abin explained that he was a member of the Green Lantern Corps, an organization of beings from across the cosmos, armed with powerful rings fueled by the green energy of willpower in the universe. Upon his death, Abin entrusted his ring and duties as the Green Lantern of Earth's space sector to Hal Jordan. We all know that. We saw it in a movie. It was not a good movie, but a lot of people saw it. Um, but most people know Jon Stewart because they're, you know, my age, Justice League and all that. But Hal Jordan's always my Green Lantern. And then, of course, Batman gets a card as well. Batman, Earth-32, real name Bruce Wayne. In DC's Dark Multiverse, on Earth-32, the green light of Will has twisted an angry Bruce Wayne into something very dark and sinister. After the murder of his parents in Crime Alley, young Bruce is gifted with a green lantern ring, which allows him to fly and to generate uh, deadly hard light energy constructs. constructs. With no Alfred Pennyworth to guide him, he soon swallows his fear and pain and lets that void that remain corrupt him and the ring, unleashing a wave of darkness across his world and now ours as the Dawnbreaker. So yeah, those are the cards that come with both of them. So that's all the accessories they get, which is quite a few, not too many, but we do get some cool effects in, in that cool base. Going over the articulation, we're just gonna use Hal here, but we do have a head on a barbell, so we get all kinds of movement there. Butterfly joint, shoulders come up 90 degrees. You can hear that ratchet in there, um, but we do get a bicep cut, double elbows. We get a ball peg up in the torso. We get some waist cut down there. Legs come up about 90 degrees. Uh, no thigh cut, but we do get double knees, so Green Lantern can kick his own butt. Uh, no boot cut, but we do have an ankle, rocker, and toe articulation. 
So yeah, but same articulation for Dawnbreaker. McFarlane is pretty uniform across all of its figures as far as articulation goes, like 32 points, something like that. But the Batman who laughs, which is Bruce Wayne from an alternate universe who was corrupted by Joker toxin and became twisted and evil and eventually had a plan to take over the multiverse. And he used Dawnbreaker um, and the Drowned and various other versions of Batman to help him and also betray them and stuff. Here they are with our Dark Knight's Metal Batman, Bruce Wayne, the real one, the one who wouldn't get corrupted and let the Joker win, basically. So, yeah, here's that Batman with them, and he's right in scale, of course. He's a little bit taller than Dawnbreaker, actually, so a little bit taller than Hal, too. Here they are with our gold label Martian Manhunter, another spacefaring member of the Justice League. Um, pretty powerful in his own right. I mean, so is Hal, but nowhere near Martian Manhunter and Superman. Martian Manhunter may be even stronger than Superman in some instances. Here they are with the Flash, of course. Gotta put him in here. Hal and Wally are a good team. Well, this is actually, um, Barry, not Wally, sorry. Hal and Barry are a good team. And of course, here they are with our DC Multiverse Superman. Can't have a DC comparison without Superman, right? He is the Boy Scout in blue and DC's poster boy. So here he is. One of the first McFarlane figures too. Uh, as far as DC Multiverse goes, by the I mean. So with all of that being said, you guys, I will say that how Jordan and Dawnbreaker 2 pack was totally worth it because it was totally worth it to me. Got it for a steal. Great to get Hal Jordan. Dawnbreaker's cool too. Don't mind him. He'll fit right in with the rest of the bad Batman on my shelf. I mean, gosh, there's so many different Batman. But yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And also hit that notification bell so you know when my uploads come up. Generally on Tuesdays, but there could always be a random one. You never know what I'm going to grab and see in store. So yeah, of course, comment down below what you think of this figure. Why you think that Todd hasn't made a classic Wonder Woman yet? to fit in a Justice League, how aggravated you are with that, how your day is going. As always, I love you. I will see you next time and bye-bye.